So I installed the rear rack on my wife's bike and everything went according to plan except that it's not level. <gasps> so keep watching and I'll show you how to install the rack and make it level. So what I do is I just place the rack where I want it and uninstalled of course and then I look for the, uh, the places on the frame to which I'll attach the rack which is usually around the seat post area and uh, at the bottom of the seat stays. Now these holes are usually threaded so all you're really going to need are uh, bolts. So here we go we have uh, four bolts. I have two that are a bit longer for the top of the rack attachment and I have one that's a little shorter for the drive side and one that's a little longer for the non-drive side. And most importantly you're going to need a thread locker of sorts. I have this one here it's like a stick it's supposed to be a bit easier, but you know, it doesn't really matter. I just tried this out. I got it on sale, like really cheap. So what you do is you just put some of it on the uh, threads. You can see it kind of like chunks off here, this stuff, but whatever. I'm just gonna use my finger and I'll just kind of like rub it all on the threads there. So that way uh, all of the threads will be nice and tight and it, it won't just rattle out. Which, you know, and I, I've had people that have bought bolts off me because their rack bolts have just rattled right out. So here we go. I'm just going to start putting the first bolt in. So what I do is I just attach the top part of the, uh, of the rack. And it doesn't really matter where you start, but I'm just doing it this way. And you can see there's a bit of slack there. I'm just going to tighten these up. Not perfectly tight, but just enough to, so that it holds it in place. And, you know, I just kind of feel like I'm making some progress here. <laughs> so we just spin it around. And then go to the other one. Just spin it around. Now, you can pretty much use like any Allen wrench. Uh, these ones here are four millimeter. They, you can even use a, a socket. It'd probably be a lot easier. But, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. The, the whole idea is just to show you the ease of how to do this. So, as you can see, there is a movement. Um, that way I can uh, manipulate these uh, lower seat state bolts to uh, into place. You can see the, uh, the drive side one just went in pretty easily. But this here, uh, non-drive side one, it was a little more difficult for some reason. And, you know, I'm just gonna show you a little bit. So what I had to do is I just had to like rearrange myself so that I could get a little better leverage on it and just put it into place. Now, the reason I show you this is because like you can run into these problems and I know how to do this, but you know, I still went and I made the mistake. So I'll just kind of uh, do what I did with the, uh, the top part of the rack and just kind of tighten these in. They don't have to be uh, super tight. It's just just to make sure it's not rattling around and stuff um, for when we uh, try to level out the top of the rack with the ground. So there we go. Just tighten those up a little bit more. And now we have a tight rack, so I'm going to try to level it. So what I have here is an 8mm wrench. And underneath these bolts here are these nuts. nuts. <laughs> and I didn't show it, but I'll, I'll show it later in the video. So basically these nuts here, they just, uh, it, it's easier to just hold the nuts in place with the wrench and use a screwdriver just to loosen them off so that uh, the rack stays that you see there that are kind of bent that connect to the uh, frame can be moved around. Now, a lot of times these attachments aren't uh, gonna be long enough. And that's when you see like people who have rear racks that are kind of like pointing downwards towards them. And they're actually pretty expensive to find if you can find them at all. So as you can see there, I just kind of knocked it back and I'm just going to check my level here. So far, it looks pretty good. Maybe it's a little off, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's pretty close to level. It, it's not like you're putting buckets of water on the back. You just want something so that it, uh, it doesn't kind of lean down into your back or in your butt. So I'll just tighten these up here. There's really not a whole lot to it. One thing I will suggest is to tighten up using these nuts, so use the wrench because uh, the screwdriver can strip the heads of the screws or the bolt. Then it becomes like almost impossible to get those things off. So there we go. It's nice and tight. We're just going to make sure that all the bolts are nice and tight. Just to double check because we want to make sure everything's nice and tight. Even though it has the thread locker on it, you don't necessarily want to uh, just leave them loose because there's only so much that a thread locker can do. 
So we'll just tighten them up. It's nice and tight here and we're done. So what we've done here is we've just uh, attached our bolt to the attachments on the frame. We've loosened and retightened our rack stays so that we can level the rack and we've attached our rack legs to the bottom of the seat stay. And finally, we'll just double check our level. In this case, it's not perfect, but it really doesn't matter, like I said. So I'm going to call this complete. If you want to see other DIY videos that I've done, you can click right here.